Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we have another tool video, another German tool haul from Hand Tools from Germany. Uh, we have added uh, a few more items to the toolbox, uh, a couple more Hotzet Hyper Ratchets, going to fill out the Hyper family of ratchets. We've got another set of Stavilla wrenches, and we've got a pair of NWS pistol grip combination pliers. We haven't featured any NWS products in the past. Uh, NWS is a German manufacturer of pliers, very similar to Knipex. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the haul, see what we picked up, and uh, check out each item. So here we have our items. We've got some of them still boxed back here, which is uh, two of the 3 8 inch drive Hotzet Hyper Ratchets, the NWS pliers with accessories. We've got the Stalvilla uh, 1410KT and the Hotzet uh, 916 HPL Hyper half inch drive long reach ratchet. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we'll go ahead and start looking at the Stahlvilla wrench set since we've got it here front and center anyway. So this is the Stahlvilla open box 14 combo wrench set, 10 piece set and metric. It's got 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, and 19 millimeter. In our last tool haul from Hand Tools from Germany, we looked at the Stalvilla Open Box 13. Uh, the 13 series wrench is their standard length, standard pattern wrenches. The Open Box 14 is their long handle version, their long pattern. The other thing you'll notice about the Open Box 14 wrench is the box end. As you see, it is an offset similar to what you would see on a, a shallow double box end offset like the uh, Stalvilla Corona 23 series wrenches that we looked at, I believe, last summer that I picked up. Uh, instead of having their traditional 12 or 15 degree offset box end, you normally see on a combination wrench. This is a pretty neat feature. Honestly, I see some places where it would be advantageous some places where it might come in to being in the way uh, but the way they design it with a drop down i don't think there'll be many places you would uh, get in trouble with this box in compared to a traditional uh, 12 or 15 degree offset uh, for comparison real quick let's go ahead and grab the open box 13 since they do have the traditional offset and compare and contrast them uh, for overall length and other differences in the two series of wrenches. All right, have the open box 13 set out uh, with the 14s. And uh, the 13, we got an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 19. Uh, so the difference here is the 14 skips the 9 millimeter, where you have the 9 millimeter in this set. Uh, this set skips the 15 millimeter where this set skips the 16 millimeter. Uh, but overall, if you have both sets, you've got pretty much complete coverage from eight to 19. So looking at, we'll compare the 19 to the 19 just because they're the largest wrench and uh, more easy to show up on camera. So first off, overall length, as you can see, uh, the 14 is longer than the 13 series wrench. Um, might be a little bit hard to show on with this lens, I might have to wait till we get the macro lens out. Uh, but the open end is, well, the overall wrench is thinner on the 13 series than the 14 series. And you can see this, uh, one, if you just turn them over and look at the thicknesses, uh, you can clearly see even with, at this level, that the 14 is a thicker wrench. Uh, but if you look at the open end as well, Stalvilla has made up for the thinness of the 13 compared to the thickness of the 14 in the open end. So this is thinner, but it's also much wider here than the uh, 14 series just because the 14 series is a thicker wrench. So let's see if we can overlay these. And uh, you can see that the 13 series, uh, it's actually larger than the 14 series in the open end department. 
Now with the box end on the 13 series, you get your normal uh, 12, 14 degree offset that you would expect. And then on the 14 series, it said the box end is offset in this direction. So if we were to have a plane here with a nut and we were getting on it with the box end, this is the angle we'd be at compared to if we did the same with the 13 series. To compare the two, uh, they're basically at the same angle. It's just uh, the way that the box end attaches to the handle. So actually the way this has the swoop up uh, could be helpful if you have a nut or bolt that is very close to another object when you compare how that handle design is. So this might actually be a little bit more helpful and I'm sure there are some areas where that will be in the way and some areas where this will not work. So that's so why you have to have multiple wrench sets. One uh, wrench cannot do it all. So the 19s are fairly close in length. Let's take a look at the 10s really quickly. It's a little bit more prominent, uh, the difference in the length between the 13 and 14 series when you look at the 10 millimeter. Again, the 10s open in as much flatter broader to take up for that thinness of the wrench compared to the 14 series 10s open end. And again, there is a noticeable difference in the thickness just by eye. It might not be coming through on the camera as such though. So that's the first item. That's the Stahlvilla Open Box 14 10 piece set. Comes in this, uh, it's not blue mold, it is a um, vacuum form plastic tray, I would guess, with this uh, clear cover. Moving on to the next item, we have some more ratchets from Hot Zet, more of the Hyper Series ratchet. Finally have the 3 8 inch drive in, and uh, we also have a variant of it with a quick release button. So the 3 8 version, uh, normal 3 8 version is the 8816 HP. Quick release version is 8816 HPS. Uh, the traditional version, is rated for 400 newton meters of force, 340 newton meters on the quick release because having that uh, quick release and that button and pin system through the anvil does limit the amount of force you can put on said anvil. Uh, then at the back here, we got the big boy, the half inch drive, the 916 HPL, which is rated for 1000 newton meters, which is like 700 and some odd foot pounds. I'll put the uh, American down here at the bottom for you guys. So the overall length of the handle on this, these two is 200 millimeters and the length of the half inch is 415 millimeters. Again, I'll put the American measurements at the bottom for you. So starting off, let's look at the 3 8 inch drive versions. So here it finally is the long awaited 3 8 inch drive version of the Hot Zet Hyper Series Ratchet. I'm not exactly sure what took uh, Hot Zet so long uh, to get this ratchet to market. They released the half and quarter inch drive versions uh, way back, uh, I believe over two years ago. And the 3 8 version just came to market, I believe it was midway through 2020. So. Not exactly sure what the holdup was on the 3 8 drive, but it is finally released and finally here. Uh, just like all the other Hyper Series ratchets, they basically all share the same dimensions um, and specifications. They're just, you know, the different drive sizes and different handle lengths. So same 90 tooth mechanism. Same extremely strong mechanism. So 400 Newton meters of force that this standard length handle 3 8 will take. Has the beautiful blue and black soft gripped handle. Has the fully sealed head and has the four degree swing arc. So everything that we have come to know and love about the quarter inch drive and half inch drive hyper series ratchets. Now this one here, I wasn't even aware had been released until got on the website and saw they now have a quick release version to lock your sockets. I know a lot of people like quick release ratchets. I'm not a very big fan of them, but um, you know, here it is. And uh, this actually might 
just might become a contest in the very near future. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you want a chance to win this 3 8 inch drive hot set hyper uh, quick release ratchet. So this ratchet and I mean they're the exact same thing. The only thing really different is the quick release function which I'm sure most of you know what a quick release function does. It'll lock your sockets on there until you push the button to let them come off or your extensions and uh, that's basically the only difference. Everything else, all the, the housing and the drive, it's all that same 80 tooth mechanism, all the same. The only thing is you are losing some strength. Uh, 400 Newton meters on the non-quick release and only 340 Newton meters on the quick release. Uh, due to the fact there's a big hole through the anvil to have that quick release mechanism integrated. So that's why you lose a little bit of strength there. Moving on to the 916 HPL, the 1,000 foot-pound, 1,000 Newton meter, a force half-inch ratchet, and here it is. Again, pretty much identical to the quarter and half-inch we've seen before. It's just the longer version. Same 92 mechanism, same 4-degree swing arc. Everything I've come to know and love about the Hotset uh, Hyper Series ratchets absolutely love the quarter inch drive version. I'm sure I'll love the 3 8 version as well. And I have the other, I think there's three half inch drives. I've got the extendable. We looked at that in one of our previous German tool haul videos. That's the 916 HPLG compressed, collapsed. Overall, it's the same length. The handle is much bulkier, much thicker on the extendable one just because, you know, it extends. So it has to go inside, the bar has to go inside of itself. So fully collapsed, they're the same length overall, just this one is much thicker. And, um, you know, extended is about uh, one third to a quarter longer than this ratchet. Been using this one, I believe, uh, six months now or more, and uh, really, really like it. Uh, love the fact that it collapses and you can put it in a tool bag and carry it around easily and also, you know, extend it to full length for full leverage or breaking things loose. Uh, but this one will fall like right there in the middle. Again, the big advantage of this is it has the smaller handle and the thinner shaft. So you can get into areas where the bulkier collapsible ratchet would not fit. But again, same comfort grip handle, same machine, same uh, overall dimensions of the head, just you know, scaled up for half inch drive. And uh, really, really phenomenal ratchets from Hot Zet. So last but not least, we have these NWS pistol grip combination pliers. Titanium finish on them, comfort grip handles. They are spring loaded, and I do have some optional extras added onto these. As you see, the box is behind. We'll go over that. Uh, but NWS, like I said, we haven't talked about NWS before, another German tool manufacturer. Uh, as far as I know, only specializing in pliers, much like Knipex. And, um, you know, that's what they've built their name upon. Uh, so these are what they call a combination plier. Looks very much like a lineman plier, but pistol gripped. And a uh, good thing about it, one, being spring loaded, uh, but two, it's got this lock here. So if you want to throw it in a tool bag or throw it in your toolbox drawer, it's not going to spring and spring open. You can put it in a plier rack or something of that nature and not have to worry about it uh, flailing open. Again, I said I've got these accessories on it. So... As you see, it is spring-loaded naturally, but uh, NWS sells these spring-load kits where you can add extra spring tension to your pliers. Uh, it's this kit right here. It's part number 819-3. There's two different kinds of clips in here and then the mounts for them. Uh, the pliers have these little nubs on them where you can mount accessories, and they just kind of slide on there. Uh, this is their additional lanyard good for anyone that's doing overhead work, construction work, whatever, uh, to keep you from dropping your tools off of scaffolding, off of a ladder, 
you know, knocking someone in the head or just having to crawl back down the ladder uh, and get your tool that you dropped. Uh, so the Clipsis, so the lanyard system is the part number 819-1, comes in that little package. Uh, another really cool add-on is this. It is the, uh, where's part number? It is the 819-4. This is their voltage tester. Good for 90 to 1,000 volts. And uh, so, clips on to the handle, as I said, a little power switch here, push the button. You got some little LED lights. Basically, you just butt it up against a piece of Romex or a box. And you'll have three little red LED lights in here that will turn on if it senses voltage in the wire. So neat to have that on your pliers instead of having another voltage sniffer with you. You know, it's just nice to have it all in one package when doing any kind of electrical work. You've got a nice cutter jaw here. You've got serrations here for gripping things. On the very edge here, you've got a little lip for grabbing uh, you know, the heads of screws or nails and pulling them out. And you've got the serrations here where you can grab uh, a bolt or nut and you can turn it in like so with these pliers as well. So here we can see a demo. We've got some Romex wiring up here. Power's on, so we take our pliers. You see our little LED light on. Put it up against the wire and as you see the LED light goes off and these little red LEDs come on to tell us that there's voltage in that wire and it is live. So a nice little feature like I said to have it right there on your pliers so if you're working you don't have to get something else out you just put it to it and boom you can check for power quick and easy. All right, so one thing I think I went failed to go over in the last video was pricing. So the 8816HP Hot Z 38s was 60 euros. Uh, the quick release, quick release version was 69 euro. Uh, the NWS pliers, 32.40. The Stavilla wrench set was 99.20. Um, the half inch drive, 916HP L was 98.90 and I um, can't remember what the price was for the uh, accessories for the pliers, the voltage tester, uh, the lanyard and the springs, but I'll put them here on the screen now. All right guys, and that'll do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.